What's good everyone? Alex Henry here from Orchestry. In this video, I'm going to give you a high level introduction to topics in Viva Engage. I'll touch on the differences between the free topics you get in Viva Engage versus the premium experience you get with Microsoft Viva topics. I'll show you how to create topics in Viva Engage. And I'll end this video with a few examples on how you can leverage topics to improve your overall experience with Viva Engage. So what are topics? You can think of them as labels that you can add to any post in Viva Engage. Topics allow you to group together posts across all of your communities and storylines that share a similar theme. This is a way of reducing information silos in your Viva Engage network. Topics also include their own page. Staff can come to this page to follow it, so that way they get notified when someone uses a topic on a new post. If you're an IT admin, you'll also have the ability to modify and delete the topics from Viva Engage. Later in this video, I'll show you examples of how you can use topics in SharePoint and in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we go any further, I do want to distinguish that we are talking about the lightweight version of topics that is included in Viva Engage and not the premium version of topics that requires a Microsoft Viva subscription. Now, unlike the premium version of topics, which expands beyond Viva Engage across all of Microsoft 365, the lightweight version of topics that's included in your Microsoft 365 subscription can only be used in Viva Engage. But that's okay, because that's what we're here to talk about. Now let's look at how we create and manage topics. Creating new topics in Viva Engage is really easy. It can be done by any admin or any staff member. Now let's use this post by Adele for example. It's already got the topic M365 resources. Let's say I want this to be grouped with IT training. So what I'll do is I'll click on the three dots, edit topics. From here, I can modify the existing topics and create a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create new topic. I'm gonna to give my topic a name a description, hopefully a more useful description than I can come up with. You'll see it pop down here and then go ahead and click done. Within a few moments, you can even click on your new topic and go to the topic page. From here, as an IT admin, you can edit your topic. You can also delete it. As a staff member, I can't edit or delete topics, but I can follow them. This allows me to opt in for notifications anytime someone uses this tag in the future. Now, to close off this video, I'm gonna show you two ways you can leverage topics across Microsoft 365, specifically SharePoint and Microsoft Teams. Let's start off with SharePoint. You can bring Viva Engage into your SharePoint sites using the conversations web part. When you go into the settings for this web part, you can configure it to either source posts from a specific community, a specific user, a topic, or just the end user's home feed. In this case, we can use topic and pull out any single topic we want across all of our communities. And maybe I'll choose M365 resources by just typing in this box and selecting the outcome. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Republish. Now this web part will only show me posts that include this topic. This is a really good tool to help you filter the right posts from Viva Engage into your SharePoint sites. One quick thing to note is that I can react and reply to posts directly from here, but I can't create new ones from here. Now the next integration is with Microsoft Teams. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Teams section. Now to bring Viva Engage into our Teams, we can add it as a channel tab. When you're setting up this tab, choose your content type. Instead of filtering for a community, choose topic instead. As simple as that, we now have a topic page added to our team channels just for that convenience. From Teams, you can also have tab conversations if you want to let the team know about any interesting posts that have come up recently. 
And that's it for this video on Viva Engage topics. I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Take care.